to steal the Titanic lady's quote, it's been 84 years <laughs> since there's been a buzz quiz game. And I adore that series. And it's the pinnacle for me of where quizzes and quiz games have been. Uh, it's quiz time kind of almost got there, but not quite. But apart from that, there's been a huge gulf in the last 84 years for quiz games. And that's why I was interested in Papa's Quiz, because it offered something different. It's one to eight players, and it's currently on PC, but it is coming to console. But it uses your phones or tablets or internet devices for you to log into a website, just like the Jackbox game series is do. And then that turns your phone into a buzzer. And that's grand. And I thought, oh, there's quite a lot of juicy things you could do with that. And I wanted to see how, Papa quizzes, how Papa's quiz works. Unfortunately, the innovation pretty much stops there. The game itself uh, allows you to go into the most jankiest, weirdest graphics going to create the jankiest characters to then be read at by two janky robot voices. Now, in a very similar way to It's Quiz Time, it uses a robotic kind of word parser to uh, voice recognition software. One is with a heavy Indian accent, one is with a heavy British accent, and the two kind of are supposedly playing off each other. But it's awful. But it's awful to the point where it's almost endearing again. So um, I think that's where they were going for, because it matches up with the really meme-worthy graphics. Uh, especially when you can call people like Uncle Finger <laughs> and things like that. So once you're into the game, uh, each game takes about 15 minutes to complete. So it's quite short for a quiz game and it consists of five rounds. Round one is fastest finger gets the most points. But if you get it right, then you still get points. Round two has pictures that reveal piece by piece, a bit like catchphrase if you've ever watched that TV show. Um, and then you buzz in when you think you've got um, the correct answer of the four buzzers that are on your screen. And when you're using your phone, your phone is just literally four circles for most of it, matching up with the four options that are on the screen. Round three is a point stealing mode. So if you get the question right and you were first, you then get to choose uh, by pressing a buzzer which person you steal uh, points from and then add it to your tally. So that's where you can kind of reel in the leader if you want to, or just pick on someone. <laughs> Round four then changes it up slightly and offers you just one buzzer. And with this, it um, has pictures that are rotating around on the screen and it will have a statement or a question. And then when the picture matches the question, you need to smack the buzzer and hopefully you're the first one in and you get the most points. For the fifth and final round, it then converts all the points that you've got over the course of the game into time and puts it onto the screen. And then it will slowly kind of watch your pedestal drop down to the floor. Um, and then if you buzz in for the questions in round five, if you get it correct, then you get a slight little boost of your platform. If you get it wrong, then you drop down slightly and eventually you'll hit the floor and then you'll be eliminated from the game and it will kind of sort out the order. The weird thing with this is that with single player mode, this just turns into how many questions you answered correctly in round five as your total score. But all of the other four uh, rounds beforehand are identical. Um, this does kind of mean that quizzes can be over quite quickly and that's quite good for replayability. The bad kind of side of that is that it's those five rounds all the time and there's no kind of mixing and matching and switching around and kind of a rotation of more game rounds, which was what I was kind of hoping for. And there's no innovation apart from the category choosing facility, which lets you use those four buzzers on your phone to move the arrow around to try and get into a quadrant of the screen. So at the beginning of each round, it will offer four categories for you. Sometimes one will be a junior option, which is supposed to have easier questions, so long as you know the topic. And it seemed to keep on offering me Minecraft Junior all the time. Uh, and I haven't got a clue with Minecraft, so we avoided that. And you're all kind of tapping together to try and get the arrow into the topic of choice. And that was quite interesting, although sometimes it can end up a bit of stalemate as you're trying to smash something back and forth until someone gives up and lets you win. So um, fun, but that is literally the only innovation in this game. In between rounds, you also get to do a meme-worthy dance. They get very old very quickly, but thankfully you can skip them, which makes the game even shorter. The real key issue, though, of this uh, Papa's Quiz game is that although it says it has thousands of questions, 
it doesn't feel like it because it seems to be locked into the same categories over and over again and then giving you the same questions over and over again. And so whilst there may be thousands of questions in the game, it doesn't seem to offer them out very readily and it keeps you trapped in the same uh, topics, offering the same questions or variants of the same question. And I think that's always a cheap way of going about it. So it will say things like... Um, uh, in golf, it might be um, how many under par does a birdie need to be? And then it will say, if you're one under par, what does this call? What is this called? And that's two separate questions. And, I'm like, mm. and if you're awkward, sometimes it will ask those types of things back to back. Um, so it's around the actual algorithmic, how it selects the questions is where Papa's quiz falls down. Because aside from that, as long as you can get over the the crazy graphics and the weird sound it's not a terrible quiz game it's not going to change your life it is not rivaling buzz it's not rivaling it's quiz time for me either um this is much more towards the um like ubisoft trivial pursuit kind of end of the scale it reminds me actually of um we wear titles but like seven years late <laughs> That's not necessarily a bad thing because there's a time and a place for WiiWare uh, type kind of low budget -y quiz games. But I just hoped that this would give more variety than what it actually did. Um, and so I could see you getting quite bored of this quite quickly. Papa's Quiz, out now on PC, coming to consoles very shortly. Written review over on higherplanegames.com soon. And I'm sure I'll upload at some point either a quiz where we've got loads of people together so you can kind of see it in action, or I'll do a live stream. Um, so that you can all join in on the fun and action and we'll have a laugh together. Take care. Bye-bye. Higher Plane Games is part of the Higher Plane Network, a completely independent media outlet supported by people like you. The goal is to create the best possible content that cultivates a richer indie scene for games as well as music and entertainment. To find out more and to get involved, visit patreon.com forward slash network. Your support makes all the difference, and in return you'll gain access to bonus content and downloads. Thank you for watching.